welcome and thank you for joining me at a closer look into the reference data management capabilities of Kingland's fourth generation platform. The use case that we'll be looking at in this video will be centered around know your customer and data quality and governance through reference data management activities. So let's go ahead now and log into our application. We're going to use an administrative user for this demo video. Once our dashboard has loaded, let's navigate to the left side of the screen where it says Administration. Selecting Administration, then Reference Data Management will take the users to the Reference Data section of the application. You can see there are many different Reference Data categories. Let's go ahead and look in one of the categories here, Legal Structure, and you can see there's several different Reference Data values within Legal Structure. We give users the ability to manage these individually we also have system categories, which are not editable by the user. You can see the message that this category has been marked as a system category and cannot be edited. Let's take a look at entity subtype. We have display order mode, which allows users to adjust the display order in which the values appear in the user interface. We give users the ability to sort alphabetically by clicking the A to Z icon. Also, the plus icon allows users to add new values or categories of reference data. Let's look at the filter section. The filter button allows users to filter out the reference data category or value that they're looking for. In this case, entity subtype. You can see here many different values for that. We also allow users to search the reference data values and categories. Here you can see we're searching for entity. And after selecting that, users are directed directly to the value that they're looking for. Let's go ahead and click on Entity Subtype of Bank and make an edit. You can see here that we're going to edit the description of this reference data value, and we're also going to change the name of this reference data value as well to show you how easy it is to adjust these within the application. Saving this will create our workflow. Please refer to our workflow video for more information detailing that. Once it's completed, you can see the reference data value has been changed. And to verify that, let's go in and search a legal entity and verify it from the legal entity side. Searching for Wells Fargo, clicking the edit button, and navigating down to entity subtype, you can now see that bank slash financial institution has been updated as a reference data value. Now let's jump back into our location hierarchy reference data category. You can see here we have many locations from around the world. A lot of our users are stationed around the world and have different permissions that are applied to different regions. This is how we control that. It's through reference data location hierarchy. We're going to go ahead and make an edit to our location hierarchy for China. We're going to make the edit for Northwest region of China. And you can see here, we have the ability to go ahead and activate or inactivate that as well as choose a type of location for this reference data value. Once we're in the workflow, we can see here that the workflow does show that the name was changed from China to China Northwest region. We use this for data tracking and data governance. Once the workflow has been completed to make the reference data value change, we can verify that in the user interface by navigating back to reference data, selecting location hierarchy, global, Asia Pacific, and China. And now you can see our newly updated reference data value. We also allow our users to compare history. Clicking the history icon brings us to a page where it shows all the historical records of this reference data value. Clicking the compare feature, you can compare one record from a point in time to another. It's highlighted when there's changes. You can see that easily shown in the user interface. This concludes our video of reference data management in Kingland's fourth generation platform.